15 public access, hanging 15 on the airwaves to the future. Located just across County Road 8 and Kitty Corner from Durberville Elementary, sits the headquarters of Television Public Access Channel 15. But inside its unassuming brick walls, a world of wonder and imagination and possibilities awaits. Station manager Wayne Gary Stacy and first mate Babs Gabbage have collaborated to make this public access studio a practically boundless playground for dreams. It's uh, hey, long time no see. That's what I wrote. So how's that sound? Okay, I'm gonna do a count. Okay, I'm gonna do a countdown. Okay, one, one, two, three. Oh, oh. yeah. Okay, you one, two, three. <coughs> wow, let's do. It. Well, All right. hey, it's been a long time no long see. Time. Uh huh. Out there. TV 15 listening audience and uh. Uh, I was hope it was a great summer for you. Uh -huh. And uh, right, right. And as you know, we covered the state fair, and we had a great time. Oh gosh, and have, it was a good one. And we have been catching up to speak in pun on our summer fishing. That's right. After uh, we got out of uh, hospital the day of, as a result of some of the much ballyhooed incidents uh, regarding the tilt a whirl and Wayne's oh that Wayne's situation. Yeah, but that was nothing to, uh, you know... Really yeah, I mean, I know you don't want to do it, but... Thursday nights. Put the kids to bed. You shut your mouth! Crimers and Punishmenters. Get out of my sight. The producers of this show can lay claim to being the producers of the most talked about show on the air during the Thursday 7 to 9 p.m. time slot. You! And the network has agreed with the perception that this show is one of the hottest and most controversial things on network TV this fall season. I oughta fist you. I oughta fist you right in the mouth. In the trial of the decade, lawyer Tom Slats must send an innocent man to jail. But you know he didn't do it. And it's up to Detective Rapaps to get the confession from the real crimer. Ice down, Detective Rapaps. We can't threaten him. He's already called his lawyer. Crimers and Punishmenters is one of the best shows on television. Don't you cock off at me, Lieutenant. We got this guy by the knockers. Crimers and Punishmenters. Now who's cocking off, huh? Cocking off at the mouth like that'll get you a pink slip so fast you'll think you're a cute little busted. Viewer discretion is advised. I want your badge on my desk by 3 p.m. And then you know what? I want you to go home. I want you to take off all your clothes. And I want you to take a long shower. And then I want you to take a long nap. And then Ramsby, when you wake up tomorrow, all lying naked there in your little bed, the first thing I want you to see is my fucking face staring down at you. Now get the fuck out of my office, Ramsby. See you tomorrow. Crimers and Punishmenters. Tonight at 9, a surprising twist in the Billy Bransom kidnapping case. And a one suburban community comes to life. Don't miss it. Only on TV 15. Trance skipping up. Oh, gosh. You think he's phoning it in today, huh? Well, I just think that that, that was that light uh -huh. that fell was not your deal. Uh -huh. He was the one checking the wing nuts on that thing. Oh gosh, well that's good to know. You know, I try to give it 110 percent every day. I can't uh, claim for Tran. You don't have to tell me that, Bob. If it's one thing I know, whether you got a fish finder strapped to your to your boat, 
Or if you yeah. got a leg strap strap to your neck. That's right. To your chat to your lapel. Uh, or whether if you've got a mic strapped to your lapel, are you doing it 110, if not 120 to 30 You know, ex percent. except for on the, uh, on the days, maybe after a little bit of a late night or, a, you know, game night or poker night or something the next day. I or a bad fishing day. Oh, Don't catch gosh. this guy when he's been trolling on nah. an overcast October evening. Oh, boy, I'll, I'll tell, tell you what. At those times, you know. 60% max, but the rest of the time I'm going in 110 years. I stay so. away from the studio when it's October just because that the end of fishing season is not a pretty sight. I'm just not very good at it, you know, so. Uh, but I try to take it in stride, and, you know, uh, Dr. Phillips, oh, shouldn't say that over the air. Uh, why not? Why not just come out and well, because let us all know? There's a patient doctor confidentiality. I can't tell you anything about what okay, he says. Okay, well, let's to give me. him a fake name then. Let's just say doctor. Doctor. Let's just say doctor Rodnick. Uh, there we go. I don't know if anyone's going to believe the doctor spatula. So let's go with doctor Rodnick. Uh, told me that you know I should take it in stride, but you know I told him right back to him. I said. Uh, well, I've been doing this for nigh on uh, 44 decades. Four decades. Not 44, uh, four decades. 44 years. And, you know, I and I still haven't had my uh, my day in the sun. Well, you that's, know? I think that's just not true. But, uh, you know, I had, a, I had a guy in high school who told me, take it all in yeah. stride, but he was my running coach. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, I hope well, he tells you that. I didn't break advice. any world records, but I definitely took it in. <laughs> yeah, well, we all know you had that county record, you know. I so sure did. We've all heard enough about oh, Wayne Gary Stacy's done it again. Well, you okay, know. well, all right, well, uh, so I mean, speaking of turning corners and turning new leaves and uh, uh -huh. and turning. Uh, down new paths yeah uh, as far as our life's journey uh bob uh -huh. bob had uh, something to he told me last week which i had no idea up all this uh -huh. whole time i had no idea about him mm -hmm. that was uh just a really spectacular thing to hear and i thought we be doing this on the show why is it uh -huh. I mean, why is it top secret? And Bob, I think you know what I'm talking about. Uh, yep. I, I couldn't believe it, but Bob comes out. He sits. He tells me, "I don't. I didn't even know this. He has a blog." Right. I've been blogging. W would you believe it or not? Mm -hmm. And he's, and the guy's been hiding out, you know, in the closet, so to speak, about his his blogs. And we're just so bedazzled over here to hear this uh, news. Yep. So, Bob, uh, why don't you let everyone in on your digital uh, escapades here? Uh -huh. Well, I, you know, I did, I did announce this to the team uh, a few years back. Uh, Tron was real excited about it. Uh, I remember you were a little intimidated at that time by the idea of blogs in general, but I hope now it's better for you. Uh, I'm all right. I'm just, I'm really thrilled now. Great. I, I mean, who knows what's floating on out there? Yeah. You didn't have your uh, Back then. parental protections like you do today. Nope. Uh, so he, uh, I think you or Wayne were a little bit wary about uh, blogs and, and the, such. And there were viruses everywhere. Uh -huh. You could download a virus, you're thinking you're downloading an uh, instruction manual. That's right. So, yeah, and if you don't know what a blog is, like I didn't up until about a year ago, and you just point your browser to Bob's log blog blogspot.com and there's no punctuation in there uh -huh. uh, except for the dots and those are periods uh, either one's fine and no need for an apostrophe after Bob so it's just one word Bob's log block and then it's a dot or a period like I said either one works and then blogspot and that's B-L-O-G-S-T-O-P and then another word which is just com like computer you know you'll see that around uh I never met a girl as prepared as you. I 
never met a girl as prepared as you I know you always carry all your bonds with you Your organization is impeccable I never met a girl like prepared as you I never met a girl as prepared as you I know you always carry all your bonds with you Your organization is impeccable I never met a girl as prepared as you I never met a girl as prepared as you I know you always carry all your bonds with you Your organization is impeccable I never met a girl as prepared as you I never met a girl as prepared as you I know you always carry all your bonds with you Your organization is impeccable I never met a girl as prepared as you I never met a girl as prepared as you You at Dominic's Pizza, Chicago style and deep dish. Excellent to you. On Tiny Road 8, just past the post office, turn at the duplex. Nothing about the best. On the top here, I wanted a blog to show the logs. Because uh, there's some pretty cool looking logs out there. And there are. You're right. Uh, on my. the generation of Weeby. Hurry up, the rhythm session. And, um,. Sometimes, you know, they're at the hardware store. Sure. Or the, you know, the DIY. Just a real stellar set of logs on there. I just, you know, I don't know where you came up with these. Well, it's pretty exciting, uh, you know. And these are all photos that you've taken uh-huh. in your spare time. Right. And it's like some secret life of Bob I didn't even know. Well, you, there are a lot of bird watchers out there. Uh, that's a common hobby. It is a common hobby. And... You know, a lot of different, a lot of people uh, have things that they like to photograph. Train spotters, yeah. bird watchers. Uh, I'm what's called a log blogger. I swear you came up with that genre on your own. Right. Well, as far as I know, I'm I'm the first and only log blogger uh, who's dedicated to blog. Number of years. And I've seen a couple laying around and just thinking like, uh, what's the... Bob's got a lot of postcards. Those were you. Yeah, I took those. So you're a you're a blogger. You're not only a log blogger, but you're a log photographer. That's right. You're a log photo logger. Well, I would. That's a good one. I used to call it log logging, uh, because I felt like I was logging these different sure. logs that I found around town or you know at the DIY store and stuff. But eventually, I realized the technology existed. I could call it a blog. And that was a big help because if you if you try to put into Google search or something, uh, logging, you get a bunch of guys dancing on top of a giant tree, uh, spinning around in the water, don't you? Yeah, or you know that kind of thing. Basically, they're doing all the kinds of things that just do not interest me so much. I prefer to fo- to create photographic evidence of logs that exist, 
and put them in, you know, appealing uh, situations, maybe role plays, and then put, put, photograph those logs. Uh, well, sure. I mean, you got everything. You got stacks of logs here. Uh-huh. You've got Lincoln logs for Pete's sake. Well, that was a bit of a you know artistic choice to include those because those aren't technically logs. You got a you got log cushions. You got log coffee cups coming up. I uh, bet uh-huh. uh, you should make that. Mm-hmm. How about making it in a log coffee cup with your name on it and sell those? Oh. And uh, that's just one idea. I mean, I am bursting with ideas here, and uh, it's all good ideas. I'm. To be honest with you, I don't handle wood particularly well. I do generally have professionals, you know, cut or otherwise design the logs for me before I photograph them. Well, this is clearly the touch of an artist. These logs have uh, these scenes, these vignettes have oh, been gosh. blessed with, by the hand of an artist, I would say. And oh. you may have in cold a few splinters in the process. Uh, but let me just say... Mm-hmm. Uh, it was not time wasted, and that's uh, K N O T. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like a knot on a log. And if I could branch out for a minute here, absolutely. absolutely. Or I just wanted to say, uh-huh. you could really branch out with this business. How so? Excuse the puns. Oh, oh, <laughs> branch like a log. Oh yeah, but I'm serious. You could. Uh, oh, first idea comes to mind. First idea. Uh-huh. Coffee mugs. Right, shaped like a log. Uh-huh. You put Bob in there. You could burn. You could get a wood wood burning kit, and you burn your name into the bugs, and you sell them online. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, just a ton of stuff you could do. Uh huh. Do you think there is a market here for like a Facebook style situation? Sure. I don't even know what that's like, but I'm sure that there's uh, a great bunch of forums for your for your interests uh-huh. uh you could have scrabble key scrabble pieces made out of petrified wood well I and do, how does that strike you i assume that and is you have it in different languages too uh-huh you'd have russian chinese yeah i don't know if that well i just spin it off here okay okay because i don't speak any of those but hey but we're not barking up the wrong tree over here mm-hmm I don't think. Uh, how how do you mean? Uh, I don't know. I just... Uh, oh, <laughs> wait. I just got it. That's good. Gosh, you are full of these log puns. Uh, well, there's nothing to fear at Cahoots. At least at Cahoots, you know what you're getting. It's simple. They keep it that way. That's why I like it. Just like their robes. I I, I know what to expect at Cahoots. There's nothing untrustworthy at Cahoots. Get their rolls free when you sit down right in front of you there. All the butter you'd ever need. Things you can trust. Things you know and love at Cahoots. Sometimes I just come for the rolls. Well, listen, you can, uh, it's not... A, it's less confusing. Cahoots. Come on down to Cahoots and get an onion buffer. Well, there are no surprises at Cahoots. None of that ethnic food here at Cahoots. Oh, that stuff to scare you off. God damn it. Salsa is not my color. For crying out loud, why don't you come on down to Cahoots? I like gravy. Liver, mashed potatoes, steak, ham, peas, soup. I like the rolls, so you know what you're getting with the rolls. <laughs> the greenest beans you've ever had. At Cahoots. Goddamn MSG. And our soup of the day is always split pea. Listen, there's nothing unexpected gonna happen at Cahoots. Look, there was such nuggets on zip. This Wednesday, Family Puzzle brings you its most heartrending episode yet. Listen, I love your father just as much as you do, but we're going to have to put him in a home. He can't stay here forever. Karen, come on, let's listen. Let's not have this right in front of him. He's right over there, and it's his birthday, for God's sake. He's not even listening to us, okay? He's just listening to that damn radio, and he does it every day. Well, I was sitting down for so long, I forgot I was damn drunk. Oh, for Christ's sake. Kids, 
Everyone get in the car. Dad, it's your birthday dinner. Let's go. Well, it is my birthday. Sure, I'll uh, take a free meal if you got it. Yes, we're going to the Olive Garden. Yeah, I'm not going to that damn guinea restaurant downtown. Take me to Cahoots. It's my day after all. All right, kids, come on, put on your suspenders and bow ties. We're going to Cahoots. Goddamn waps. Give me some damn American food. Whoa, whoa, Dad, are you okay? Oh, Grandpa Bram, I just soaked the floor. I'm so sorry. Hey, fuck it. Okay, well, let me just quote one of these great posts that we have here. Uh-huh. And, uh, okay, I'm just going to grab one oh, here. Gosh. Okay. What the hey, he says. I'll put up a few log posts today. This is the name of it. Mm-hmm. Or, I don't know, at the top. Bob's Log Blog Sunday. So here's some of your kiln-dried logs. And there's some a picture of some kiln-dried logs. And you can almost smell them, can't you? Crackling on a fire pit or in a stove. Mm. Yeah, been saving a few of these in the pole barn just for the right fire. Mm. Maybe when Sharon and the kids are up. That's great stuff. Yep. It reads like poetry. Well, I'm pretty proud of that one. Uh, did you see the one I got on there where just a little guy in his bear suit? Yeah, and I was saying it reminds me of Gabe, too. I mean, yeah, well, definitely yeah, his, more Asian, but... uh huh. Well, you know, we always said that there's a, you know, Chinaman in the woodpile there somewhere. There must be a... <laughs> well, I don't know where you keep that. Oriental man. I don't know you put that one in the air. In the, in, the, in the genetic pool. So there could be somewhere. I don't know. Yeah. Just not literally in the... Okay, that's what that meant. Okay. I, sh- I should say, if you find some good pictures for the log blog, just go ahead and send them right in. I'll put them up there for you. Okay. I'd have, I'd have Gabe do it anyway. He, he handled, he's my tech whiz over there. Well, you heard it here, guys, everyone. <clears throat> you heard it here first. Great. Let's get the comments rolling, to speak in pun, uh-huh. on Bob's log blog. Everyone pull up a spot there and just sign in and, you know, make your mark. Join our campfire comments. Or any lumber-related news or whatever thoughts. It is quality stuff. I mean, for Pete's sake. And check out some of the comments. A lot of great uh so far here's one here's a comment this one is from okay this is from bob uh thanks for the mail guys smells just like the stuff we got over here and that's he's talking about uh well you just have to check it out he's talking about the uk sawdust uh, and great stuff so so wayne if i could turn the tables on you sure i know you're just getting your feet wet when it comes to these things but if you were to create a blog, what do you think you would put up, put on it? What would you log? Oh, I don't know. I'd, I mean, maybe good skipping stones or something. I don't know. I, you don't have a collection of those. You uh, do have. Do you have? A, I I remember last time I went to your garage. I you had a, over uh, two hundred skipping stones. Is that right? Close to about a hundred and eighty-three. Uh, four as of last Sunday. Oh. And there was not a one that I could see anyway, after a brief glance, that was not smooth and dynamic. Not seaworthy. Yeah. I swear to God, you could uh, you could flip that right across Lake Harriet and, uh, you know, maybe hit a Canadian right in the nose. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, now, don't want to incite a national uh, emergency, state of right, emergency right, state. Right, right, They'll call us terrorists or something, think we're attacking them. That's right. Give us oh, all your right. bacon, guys. Anyway. It's- is there something about skipping stones? I mean, I, I, I'm now I'm really brainstorming on this thing, and I'm thinking of getting going here. Well, I think you Is should, you know, about that? talk Is there a- talk to Tron or somebody. And see if they can do the book. I don't know if there's any forums right now about skipping stones. Isn't there a Bob Dylan song or something about a skipping stone? Oh, I'm sure that he's from Hibbing, you know. I know he's from Hibbing, and he should know all about this stuff. Yeah, it's pretty good stones up there. Why does he have a blog? I'm pretty sure I would have heard about it if he had a blog. I'd know about it if he had a blog about skipping stones or yeah. erasers. Who knows? People collect all sorts of stuff, and that's what these blogs are all great for, you know. We could have a you know, collaboration. Uh-huh. 
you bring your best logs and I'll bring my best uh, stones. We call, we'll call it Logs and Stones. You know, I had a, a folk group in high school. We were called Logs and Stones. Uh-huh. We put out a couple uh, really, you know, a couple good. Uh, well, we did the uh, flight or the uh, uh, the Ella Fitzgerald. Oh, the uh, the famous flight of the Ella Fitzgerald. Is that what it is? I don't know if it was a flight. I think it was about a boat. Oh, right. That was a boat. It was, I don't know. It was a really... It was a long time ago. Yeah. It was a great... It was a bunch of great guys who all fought together uh on some form of transportation, and it was called the Ella Fitzgerald. And, uh, but gosh, just such a long a real time ago. Ballad. And we did Who some John Denver. that anyway? So anyway, one more logblog.blogspot.com. Come on down. Come on down. Dot Dot com, com on, on down. down. Hey, you could make a pretty funny pun out of that. I agree. Has anyone taken that? Why don't you put that on there? Blogs, logspot at dogs. Dot. We dot the I's and cross the T's. Right. We dot the comms. How about just that? I'm really excited about all this technology. First, you know that digital tape recorder I bought, and now suddenly we're uh, uh-huh. hip hopping on the digital age oh, I like bandwagon. It. You are being whisked into the 20th century like nobody's business over here. Blog on for the blogger. Blog on for fear the bloggers. And uh, and check us out. And hopefully in a few, you know, one of these days. Skipping Stones. Sure. Uh, by Wayne Gary Stacy. Sure. I'll put it out on the next episode. I'll go gather it up. I got it. Tron can do it. Tron will do it. Okay. page and write a review to help increase our web presence. We so seldom get any presence. And after you've done that, join the conversation at Bob's Logblog.dogslot.com. Thanks for tuning in to us again for an all new season. Goodbye.